Hello, my name is Kishwani. S K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 21. Lesson number 21. The day 3000, day 3021, 3 is to signify that we are in the third edition, day 21. Today we're going to solve the problems that you see on page number 171. Please turn to page 171. On page 171 we see problem number 1, 2 and the next page we see problem number 3. Those are the three problems that we're going to solve. Problem number 1, 2 and 3 that you see on page 171. These three problems that we're, to, that we're going to solve in this video are the exact same problems that have appeared already in the first, that appeared already in the first and the second edition of the GRE. In my hand I'm holding the first edition of the GRE. If you're interested in watching the original solutions which are done at a much slower pace and in much in lot more detail, if you're interested in watching the original solutions to the problems, you'll find the original solutions to all of these three problems from day number 68 to 70, day 68, 69 and 70. Just type in GRE math day 68. Let's take a look at first one. It is important, it is vital, it is crucial, it is absolutely essential that you must have the book in front of you. Otherwise, you cannot follow the work. If you have the book in front of you, you'll see that we are given a chart, a chart that I'm not going to try to reproduce on the blackboard. It will take, first of all, too long, and secondly, we don't have the room on the blackboard. So while we're solving the problem, we are, we are going to constantly be referring to the chart that we have in front of us for this, for this problem, problem number one. In problem number one, we are told that we have 275 total students. The question simply is, what we are being asked is, what's the ratio of students to faculty in the engineering department? What's the ratio of students to faculty in the engineering department? So engineering department is the only department we're interested in, which happens to be one, two, three, the fourth one from the top. The fourth one from the top is what we're looking at. So let's begin the process. If you look at the chart properly, you will see that, here's the solution. If you look at the chart properly, we see that engineering department, engineering department has, engineering department has 2%, 2% female faculty, 2% female faculty. By the way, in the book, they do not talk about male faculty and female faculty. They speak in terms of, in terms of adjunct. Adjunct. They speak in terms of adjunct faculty and non-adjunct faculty. I find it easier just to speak in terms of female and, female and male, okay? But it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change our answer. So we have 2% female faculty or adjunct faculty, if you like, in the engineering department. But what, how many people do we, how many faculties do we have altogether? 2% of all the faculties are female engineering department. Engineering department has 2% of all the female faculties. But how many faculties do we have altogether? Well, we are looking at female faculty and there are which which is adjunct faculty. And if you look at the if you look at the very top of the very top of the chart, you will say there are 200 of them. So 2% of female faculty, which means we are looking for 2% of 200. We know we know 2 percent we know 2 percent of 100 is 2 2 percent of 100 is 2 therefore 2 percent of 200 must be 4. Let's move on to the next one I'm going to pick up speed now and we are, and we are told that 12 percent of male faculty 12 percent of all the male faculty work in the engineering department. I'm calling it male, they're calling it non-adjunct, just so you understand. Instead of calling them non-adjunct, which I find very annoying to write and say, adjunct and non-adjunct, we speak in terms of male and female. 
12% of all the male faculties in the university work in the engineering department. But 12% of what? Again, if you look at the top of the chart, you will see that there are 250 non-adjunct faculty, which we are calling male. So, we have 12%, 12% of 250. Well, how much is 12% of 250? Let's find out here, shall we? 12% of 250 is what we're looking for. Is what we're looking for. We know, we know, we know 12% of 100 is 12. We also know that 12% of another 100 would be another 12. And we also know that 12% of 50. If 12% 12 of 100 is 12, 12% 12 of 50 must be 6. Half of it. That's it. So here we go. 100 plus 100 plus 50, that's 250. So 12% of 250 of 250 must equal 12 plus 12 is 24, 24 plus 6 is 30. Yeah. Getting there? Now we can figure out the ratio. Now we are done. We can figure out the ratio. The ratio is very simple. Ratio of students to faculty. By well, students we are told is 275. Students to faculty. Students we know is 275. Faculty we just found out is 34. 4 and 30. 34. Question is, what is this ratio? What is this ratio? If we can figure it out, we can locate the right answer. But, lucky for us, we don't have to figure it out. All we have to understand is that, whatever this ratio is, whatever this ratio is, it is, it is less, it is less than 10 to 1. It is less than 10 to 1. Why? Because in order for it to be less, in order for it has to be, in order for it to be 10, 10 to 1, the top would have, top would have had to be 340. Because we have 34 faculty, if you want a ratio of 10 to 1, you would need 340. We don't have 340, we only have 275 students. So the ratio, whatever it is, is less than 10 to 1. And there is only one answer choice, which is less than 1. Among all the answer choices that they give us, there is only one answer choice, which is less than 10 to 1, and which is answer choice A, which is 8 to 1. 8 to 1. That's it. We're done. Let's do number 2. Don't waste your time try, trying to figure out the exact value, it's not necessary. Just understand that it is less than 10 to 1. And there is only one answer choice, as I said, which is less than 10 to 1. Now we move on to humanity department. Now we move on to question number 2. In question number 2, we are no longer in engineering department, we are now in humanities. And question number 2 says, approximately, what percentage of faculty in humanity is male? And by male we mean non exempt The book the book uses the word term the book uses the term non exempt Let's find out, shall we? So here, here we're dealing with humanities. The humanities department is one, two, three, four. The fourth one from the bottom. Make sure you're looking at the right bar, otherwise you'll muck it up. Muck it up with the letter M, not F. The fourth one from the bottom is humanity. Make sure you read the graph carefully. And if you do so, you will find that we are told that it has 17%, 17% of, of female faculty. 17% of female faculty. Which means 17% of 200. Else we know we know 17% of 100 is 17, 17% of 200 is going to be 2 times 17, it's 34. That's the easy part. Uh, again, if you, read the, if you read the bar graph carefully, you will find that 14% of males faculty, 14% of all the male faculties work in the humanities. And male faculties, total, total is 250. There are 250 male faculty in the university. 
and out of those 240 male faculties, 17% or rather 14% uh, work for humanities. So we have to figure out 14% of 250. Same exact thing that we did before. We want to find out 14% of 250. We know 14%. We know 14% of 100 is 14. 14% 14 of another 100 would be another 40. So far we have 200. And 14% of 50. If 14% of 100 is 14, 14% of 50 must be 7. There we go. We have our 250. Therefore, therefore, 14% of 250 must be 14 plus 14, which is 28. 28 plus 7 is going to be 35. It is 35. There you go. Now we can answer the question. And the answer is very simple. The question is, what percentage of faculty is male. What percentage of the faculty is male? We saw the ratio here. Here is the female, here is the female, here is the male. It's half and half. It's 30, the ratio is 34 to 35. 34 to 35. What percentage of, what percentage of faculty is male? The answer is about 50%. Because they are one, one to one ratio. Had it been had it, if we had 34 males, it would have been exactly 50%. 50% female, 50% male. Or if we had 35 females, again it would have been 50-50. But we have 35 males instead of 34. Instead of 34 males, 34 would have made it 50-50. Since we have 35 males, as a percentage of the faculties in the humanities, they're going to be slightly above 50%. It's going to be slightly above 50%. So the answer is something a little bit more than 50%, just slightly above 50%. Let's see what the answer choices are. Oh, well, there you go. The only answer choice that is above 50% is 51%. Besides, we know it's not 45%. 45% is answer choice D. We're looking for E. Because ratio of male, male is 35, which is slightly more than 50%. That's all. Slightly more than 50% shows up as 51%. Let's do number 3, shall we? Let's do number 3. I must warn you, I must warn you that number 3 is going to require some work. You're going to have to stay with me in this story. I believe we are on the next page now. Yes, we are on page number. 172. Let me turn to it. It says, for biological sciences and health sciences, the faculty com for the biological sciences and the health sciences faculty combined, we're combining the two departments here, biological sciences and health sciences, one third of the adjunct is what I, I believe I call them female, one third of the female and two ninth of the male are medical doctors. Question is what fraction of the faculties in these two departments are medical doctors? Okay. So here we have for biosciences and and this is R. For biosciences and health sciences combined, we are told that one third of female. and two ninth of male faculty I'm reminding you one more time they do not speak in terms of male and female they speak in terms of they don't they do not speak in terms of females and males they speak in terms of adjunct and non adjunct it's the same idea the question is if one third of one third of female in these two departments combined and two ninth of the males in these two departments combined we are told are tenured tenured 
10. And they, could, they, they do not say 10 years, they say medical doctors. Again, I don't want to put down, I, I'm going to find it very annoying to write medical doctors, medical doctors all the time. And so they're tenured. They are, the rest do not have tenure yet. Question is? And if you don't know what this word means, look it up and learn it. Question is, what fraction of all faculties in these two department, what fraction of all the faculties in these two department combined, this is important, we have to combine them, are tenured, or if you like, medical doctors. That's what we're looking for. And that is going to require some calculation. Are you up for it? Let's begin. Let's begin from the top. As I told you before, stay with me, step by step, all the way through, stay with me. Let's start with biology. In biology, we know 5% of the female, 5% of the faculties are female, 5% of 200, because there are 200 faculty, there are 200 female faculties in the entire universities. We are told on the very top of the graph, and there are 250 male faculties. That's what I'm getting it from. So five percent, five percent of 100 is five. Five percent of 200 is going to be 10. And we have, in the biology, we have 10 percent male faculty, and therefore 10 percent of 250 is just going to be 25. So that is done. Let's just keep it separate. We are done with biology. Let's move on to health sciences. Let's move on to the health sciences and then we'll combine them. In health, we have 16% female. And again, where are these numbers coming from? They are coming from a chart. You're going to have to read the chart for the two departments and we're going to combine them later. Let's just look at the biology, bio, biological sciences department and then look at the health sciences department. If you look at the health sciences department, you will see the bar is, is, it stops at 16 inches, a uh, 16 percentage. 16 percent, 16 percent of 200. 16 percent of 100 is 16, so 16 percent of 200 is going to be 32. And 8 percent of male. 8 percent of 250. 8% of 250 is very easy. 8% of 250 is very easy. 8%, I'm not going to again do it out. 8% of 100 is 8. 8% 8 of other 100 is other 8. And 8% 8 of 50 is going to be 4. 8% of 100. 8% of 100. 8% of 50. There you go. 16 is 20. 8% of 250 is 20. Or on the way could have Another way we could have figured out very quickly is 8% of 250 can be calculated like this. It's just 2.5 times times 8 or 8 times 2.5. Two, 2 represents the 200, half represents half a 100. 8 times 2 is 16 and half of 8 is 4. It's 20. Let's continue. So that's it. We can all we can add them all up because we have to combine them. We have to combine. We're going to combine all the faculties so we know how many faculties we're dealing with here. 10, 25, 32, and 20. They add up to 5 plus 2 is 7. 5, 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 87. There are 87 faculties in biological sciences and health sciences combined who have tenured. They are tenured professors. The rest of them are not tenured professors. And how many are there all together? Well, let's see. We'll get to that in a second. And, and we are told, right here, there are, sorry, there are 87, okay, there are 87 total faculty members in the two department combined. There are 87. Out of all the faculty members in the entire school, 87 of them, 87 of them work in the, either the biological sciences department or health sciences department. I made a mistake. These are not these are, these are not tenured people. These are total numbers. Now we're going to figure out out of this figure here how many of them have tenured. 
And for that we need the information that was given to us, which is, we are told that one third of female are tenured. Total female, total females, I'm going to change the color so you can see it. Right here is the female, there are 10, there are 10 in biological sciences, there are 32 in the health sciences. Total female is 30, total female is 10 plus 32, which is 42. And of those 42, of those 42, we are told one third are tenured. We need to figure out, we need to figure out a third of 42. Let's do that, shall we? Let's divide, let's divide top and bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by three. Four has one three. After we take away 3 from the 4, we have a remainder of 1. 1 goes and joins the 2, becomes a 12, and 12 has 4 3's. Since we divide the top by 3, we must divide the bottom up by 3. In other words, a third of 42 is 14. Let's do the next part. We are getting there. Now we take care of the male. Total male, let's do it in a different color. Total male is right here. We have 25 in the biological sciences and we have 20 in the health sciences for a total of 45 and we are told two ninth of them two ninth of them are tenured so we have to figure out two ninth of 45 two ninth of 45 two over nine of 45 well that's very easy that's quite straightforward because it turns out 45 is a nice multiple of 9. Let's divide top and bottom by 9. 9 is going to go away and 45 has 5 9. 5 9 is a 45. So there we go. 5 times 10. 5 times 2 is 10. One more time. What we have found out so far is that, first of all, we found out that there are a total of 35 faculties in the biological science department out of all the faculties in the school. There are 52 faculties in the health department out of all the faculties in the school. And how many faculties are there in the school? There are altogether 450. There are altogether 450. Uh, I don't have it in front of me, and I don't want to turn the page. I believe there were 250 males and and 200. Yes, there are 250 male faculties and there are 200 female faculties. Out of a total of 450 faculties in the entire school, 87 of them work for either the health department, or rather health sciences. Or the biological sciences and out of those 87 out of those 87 we just found out that 14 females out of those 87 14 females have tenured and 10 males have tenured now we can answer the question let's do it to the top now we're ready to answer the question the question was what percentage of the faculties in the two departments combined what percentage of the faculties in the two department combined are tenured well, we have it here. And total. Now keep in mind, this is two, two departments combined, biological sciences and the health sciences. The two departments combined, we have a total of 14 plus 10. 14 plus 10. 14 females are tenured, 10 males are tenured, out of total of how many? Out of total of 87. So we get 24 over 87. All we have to do is reduce it and we are done. Let's do it, shall we? All we have to do is reduce it, reduce this fraction and we are done. Well, what we notice is that 87, 87, the sum of the digits of 87 is 8 plus 7. Sum of the digits of 87 is 8 plus 7, which is 15. And since the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, since the sum, SUM sum of the digits of 87 is divisible by 3, 87 must be divisible by 3. And 24 is divisible by 3 because you can see 24, 8, 3 is 24. Or you can also see that 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. We just talked about it. 24 has 8 threes. How many threes does 87 have? I don't know. Let's find out. 8 has, eight has, eight has 2 threes. 8 has 2 threes. Listen carefully. 8 has 2 threes. 2 threes are 6. After we take away 6 from the 8, we have a remainder of 2. 2 goes and joins the 7s and becomes a 27. And 27 has... 
9.93s. And there is your answer. 87 divided by 3 apparently is 29. Why? Because if we had one more 3, instead of 87, if we had one more 3, it would have been 90. And 90 has, 90 is made up of 33s. 90 is made up of 33s. So if you take away one 3, this, this is 33s. If you take away one 3, this must be 29 threes. So that's why. Anyway, that's it. The answer is, the final answer is, of all the faculty members in the biological sciences and the health, the health sciences, the two departments combined, what fraction of them are tenured? The answer is 8 out of 29. 8 out of 29. Oh boy. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we'll do problem number 4, 5, 6 and 7, those 4 problems. Okay? I know.